both of you. Good to have you Morning. here. Thank, Thank you. you. Debt ceiling, first of all. I mean, when people hear this term and, and the shutdown, as we said, people are like, I don't get it. What does this really mean? What does it mean to me? Is the government really going to run out of money, Deborah? Well, the debt ceiling is really to off. If they don't get that debt ceiling raised, mm -hmm. they won't be able to go out and make that short-term borrowing to cover those bills on that day. It's like think of our bank account. If you put your ATM card in, you can't withdraw money if you don't have money in the account. Right, the beginning of the month, the mortgages right. due, the car note, everything, the groceries, and then your kid comes home and wants, you know, something at school. So, right. Brian, what happens tomorrow? Let's say there's no deal. We hope the stock prices could impact how much you're paying on your credit card bills. It could impact how much that you're paying on a house that you bought earlier in the year on right. the assumption that rates are going to be low forever. So a lot of people even holding off on, on house purchases right now because they're not sure, you know, what this is going to mean to them. Correct, and absolutely. And you thought you'd be able to get in a house and affordability would be great, but that's not the thing. And how, what does that also impact? Impacts Home Depot, impacts Whirlpool, mm -hmm. impacts sales at Lowe's. One yeah. of those companies, publicly traded. Okay. So, Deborah, let's get specific with some of this stuff. How will it affect credit cards? All right, so a lot of people have their credit cards rates are tagged to the prime rate. And so if, if what happens is the rates on bonds start to go up, mm -hmm. those interest rates on your credit cards could go up, even if you're paying on time and you think, I paid on time, I shouldn't get punished. But if all the rates are going up on these bonds because people are worried that the government might not pay those interest payments, then that could be a problem. Even if you have a fixed rate card? Well, a lot of them are still pegged to the prime, prime rate. rate. Okay. All right, quickly, 401k and pension plans. What do you think would be the impact, Brian? Well, 401k, you're almost caught in a... Causes. What about Social Security benefits? This is one that worries a lot of mm -hmm. people. There are some big payments coming due for the federal government that they may not be able to make if this debt ceiling is broached. Right, and, and as you mentioned, we have the government shutdown, so there are not as many people working in the offices right now. Now, these payments are electronic. They're not a yeah. paper check anymore. But, Willie, you brought up the point. It's not October 17th that everybody's kind of calling the doomsday date. It's really November 1st, and there's about $60 billion worth of payments that go out that day. Now, we do obviously have revenues coming in every day, but as you were mentioning, what if we hit November 1st and all of a sudden the Treasury goes, wow, we got $60 billion that's got to go out, but we only got $33 billion over here. Now what do we do? Because our government is not set up to not pay. Do you think the government really, though, would ever stop making Social Security payments? Would it come to that? They have... They say they don't have prioritization, but they do. And we know that the interest rate payments will go out first, and then usually yeah. those mandatory payments, uh, like Social Security, go out second. Unemployment payments, what but about those? But they could be benefits? delayed. They could be delayed, and that's, that's really the scary part is on November 1st. They may say, you know, we've got the money, but we need to trickle them out. So they might be a couple of weeks delayed. Someone living on a Social Security yeah. check, two weeks is a disaster. Yeah. Well, yeah, even, they're living even, check to check. No, so. absolutely. Even so with that, as up. You mentioned a little bit about the housing market. If you own a home right now, it's, it can be very confusing. The rate has changed in a way you didn't think it would. Mm -hmm. What about if you're looking to buy a home? What does this all mean? Well, you probably don't have to put it on. And it, with the government shutdown, if you're applying for a mortgage, well, you can't get your Social Security and your income tax verified because those workers right. aren't there. And the FHA isn't guaranteeing any new loans right now. All right. A lot to digest. It's and. A mess. Uh, Hopefully, in the next 24 hours, something happens. Deborah Borchardt, Brian Sazi, thank you guys so thank much. Thank you both so much. In case